What's going on gamers? David Steadley. We are heading to uh, a retro gaming store. It is in Allentown, PA. It's quite a distance from my house, but we're going to go check out, see what you can find there for the $20 Trade Wars Challenge. Um, uh, hopefully I can find some good deals there. Hopefully they don't like overpriced stuff because a lot of these uh, dedicated retro gaming stores, they know what they got and they are <clears throat> looking to stay open. I mean, like running a business like that, a shop, a standalone shop like that is expensive. So I get that, but hopefully they're not overpriced and I can find some good deals in there, but let's go check it out. So they actually had some really cool stuff. I picked up some good games, some games just for the collection, some games just uh, for the competition. I will see you guys back in the studio and we'll go over what I've got for my first trip out. The video game store in Allentown, Pennsylvania, they had some really good stuff in there. Can't wait to show you guys the uh, B-roll of that. All right guys, so I went to the game store looked around i didn't not i did not have a plan on what i wanted to pick up when i got there uh, i was just scanning around and you just see all these games you really can't just nail one down or decide what's the good path i tried looking games up uh he knew what he had so he really had them priced pretty good actually sometimes there were a few dollars more sometimes uh or a few dollars less than what the game my app was saying sometimes it was a lot more uh but it was out of the initial 20 dollars price point i needed to start with so i went and picked up the lion king and if you could see here i don't know if you could see here if it's going to zoom in or whatever it was eight eight dollars eight dollars uh and then on my game i app it is currently up to um eleven dollars which that's going to put uh my virtual wallet up to twenty one dollars which i made a dollar when i first looked at it it said sixteen dollars so that was bringing me up to 26 but uh yeah um i don't know this is the first time i really trying something like this let me know how i'm doing down here another thing i wanted to do too was i want to uh you can order replacement labels do you guys think that is degrading the integrity of the game you guys think it is improving the value of the game if i were to uh get a reprint of this label i mean there's uh jonathan medea is he's got a sticker back here labeling this game that it's his should i clean all this off put nice fresh labels on there let me know down in the comments what you guys think if that is not something i should do i mean it's pretty beat up the edge right here is worn off I think it would look cool. I might just do it anyway. Even if you guys say it's not really helping the integrity of like retro game collecting. But I want it to look nice and neat. It's just my kooky brain working that way. But that's all I got for now. Next week I am heading to a flea market with my buddy Teddy that jumps in my streams all the time. We're going to be hitting up uh, this one retro game store slash movies and music. It has everything in one. And then within that same flea market there's doghouse games and that is strictly retro gaming in there we will see what we can find in there but that will be in next week's video until next time my name is david steadily peace thanks for watching gamers and as always click the like button click the share button subscribe and check the bell